What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants franchise. Uh, we got pounded like a Tijuana hooker last week by the Atlanta Falcons in Atlanta. Pounded. Pounded. P pounded. I don't know if you guys really are getting the full effect here. In response to last week's festivities, I will be doing uh, a number of things. Maybe not a number. Maybe, maybe one thing. Russell Shepard is uh is released he has been cut no need for him nate solder is about on my last nerve he's 30 years old he's 83 overall and he can't pass block worth a shit 78 pass block can't run block either i don't know what those numbers are i am so so tempted to trade him just we we don't have any time in the pocket with eli eli what a disaster might I add, what a disaster of a QB this is. He has no accuracy anywhere, let alone what it says. He, oh my, he is not a joy to play with what whatsoever, whatsoever. Defensively, no real complaints here. Eli Apple, no, I don't like you, but you're fine for right now. Oh man. Offensively, we're bad. We cannot do anything. And I feel like we should be able to do some things. Like running the football, for example. We can't. We really can't. We can't run. We can't pass. We can't score. But today, we can play the 4-2 and two Washington Redskins at home at MetLife Stadium. Trying to bounce back after getting absolutely walloped. All right, there's Darius Geis returning kicks. The boy. Shout out to Darius Geis. Real nice fella. But today, we got to shut him down. We got to shut Chris Thompson down as well, who I'm sure will get the bulk of the carries. So we face Captain Checkdown, Alex Smith. And today, the game plan will be no different than when we got smashed by the Falcons. because We played them well. And I'm still thinking about it because it just happened for me in real life. Not 10 minutes ago. I'm focused on putting pressure on the quarterback and forcing mistakes. We're not going to allow rushing yards for the most part because I'm going to commit to the run. Commit to stopping it, I should say. So I'm going to be blitzing all game and we're going to have a lot of guys up near the line all game. You're going to have to beat us through the air. The Falcons adapted and did that. Today, the Redskins, I'm not so sure where they'll be able to. I just need blocks today. There's Saquon Barkley. Maybe his longest run of the season. <laughs> do you see how do you see what I mean there? That that's Madden 19. And I am gonna go into replay mode because I you guys know me. I love to complain. But this is my problem when it, this is a zero yard run. We set up for the inside zone, hand the ball off. There's the hole. There it is. Just, they shed it all the time. And, and this right here on Patrick Omame. Who is this? This is Matt Ioannidis. Watch this. Watch. He sheds inside. Saquon Barkley should be past him. Look at this. Look at that slide to stop the run. He moves at 99 miles per hour. That's real time. I'm going to press X. Watch this. Real time to stop that. And of course, Zach Brown. Sheds easy on Evan Ingram. I just, man, it just sucks to run the ball. But it's really that Matt Ioannidis thing that bothers me the most. Because I can't stop when I'm past him and he glitches towards me anyway. I just smash the mic. I'm sorry. There's Saquon Barkley. Finally, Saquon Barkley does something. Huge gain. Seven rushes, 56 yards. He's having the best first quarter of his NFL career so far here. And it's a sack fumble. It's a sack fumble. I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Pernell McPhee recovers. I forgot they had him. Um, and I had the wheel so open. And I just couldn't throw it in time. Eli's long-ass release. It takes so long for the route to develop. And I swear, every time when the receiver gets open pressure instantly it's so so annoying 
Oh my god, Darius Geis is gonna run the ball. That's who the, that's how they're gonna beat us on the ground. Darius Geis. Chris Thompson, no way. Darius Geis is gonna be an issue if they if they pound the rock to him. For the second quarter. That's a play action. We're on it. That's a great throw. That's a great throw by Alex Smith. Jordan Reed open. And uh I can't believe Alex Smith made that throw under heavy, heavy, heavy pressure. Is Chris Thompson going to bully his way into the end zone? I've had about enough of this series. I really have. Can I end it? Oh, man. Washington going to take the lead 7-3. to three. There it is. Evan Ingram. Great throw from Eli. You really don't see it that often. I really waited on that to develop, too. I didn't know if I wanted to go down the field. Noticed he was open. Threw it in there. It's great stuff. It's fourth and eight from the 41. It's early, but I'm going for it. So we're going to set the tone. Set the pace of the game down. Play action. Fall! Yeah, they're going to go back to him. That's a great look. Seven rushes, negative seven yards. Still that touchdown, though. It's a difference in the game. There's Evan Ingram. Oh, my God. Eli actually completed the pass. Unreal. Third down, Eli comes in clutch and actually throws a dot. And by dot, I mean an, an accurate pass to my receiver for the first time maybe ever. Go, Eli. Go, Eli. Go, Eli! That's not a slide. I did not take my hand off R2 on that one. Eli Manning rushes for the first down. Can you believe it? Oh, amazing touch pass. Oh, man. He turned around just in time to break it up. I thought that was a touchdown for sure. I thought that was a great call. Evan Ingram quick. If Ryan Kerrigan's blitzing, Evan Ingram... I threw the ball and he didn't throw the ball, if that makes sense. Sterling Shepard down at the two. I don't know what happened there. I liked it. I don't, but I uh, snapped it and then I pressed X and Eli's like, nope. And he didn't throw it, which is uh, not my favorite because I, I feel like I had a first down for sure instead of that highly contested throw. And there's Saquon Barkley into the end zone for the touchdown. He's not had a pretty season, but you know what? We'll take. He just dabbed. All right, we're not gonna take it. You're getting benched. That's not true, but I'm, I'm, I'll think about it. Chris Thompson better cough up the football. Oh, he touched past it. That was great, and somehow he held on. Uh, the Redskins, they're gonna score. They're gonna score before half. We're not getting what I wanted, and they're gonna tie things up before the half. However, we have 11 seconds. This might even be better because we can just take we can just take a couple of shots. If they squib kick, that'd be even better. They don't. They're gonna kick it deep to Sagwin. We're not gonna return that from the 25. Three timeouts, 11 seconds. Probably not gonna happen. I called a timeout. This game is really bending me over right now. I don't like it just doesn't respond to what I'm doing. I pressed the middle button, which is timeout. It just worked a moment ago. Because that's how I called a timeout before. He goes down with like two or three seconds. I have plenty of time to call a timeout. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. I'm pressing it. And it's the third quarter. Is that intercepted? Are you kidding me? Quentin Dunbar? Yo. I gotta go to replay mode for this. They blitz heavy. I got out of the play action because I knew if I call play action, they're gonna blitz. It's just they do. Blitz comes in a hot. I'm gonna get sacked if I don't throw the ball now. I throw the ball. We have the inside here with Sterling Shepard. We have the inside. The ball's probably where it needs to be. To Sterling Shepard. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is that? What is that? 
I don't I don't even get it. I don't I don't understand how that happens. How we have the inside and somehow I still throw an interception. To a receiver where at the very worst it should have been incomplete. I I can't stand this game. I really can't. Madden just frustrates me on oh so many levels. It's intercepted right back though with Janoris Jenkins. Tried to take it out, but of course he got like bumped by air. It's not even a fucking safety. I got out of the end zone. Ran a stretch, uh, had decent blocking, and somehow we still get fucking safety. Someone tell me why that was wide open. I'm gonna run the ball. Yeah, I don't think so. Eight rushes, negative six yards. Darius Geis, two rushes, 32 yards. Chris Thompson is that guy. He's that dude. He's not. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Maybe he is. He's now positive by a lot. That was a huge game. That was really, really bad. Of offense so far. It's got to be real bad. And I don't know how that juke doesn't work with Saquon Barkley. So he got like 92 juke. That's picked off by Josh Norman. That's how we've choked away these opportunities. Because uh, I throw interceptions like that. I felt like I had Saquon. Or not Saquon. I always say his name for some reason. Uh, I felt like I had Sterling Shepard on the wheel. I felt like he was by Josh Norman. And either the ball was underthrown. I should have lobbed it. Something. Either way. Interception. Not what you want. And uh, they have the ball right back. We, I am so bad. That's the issue. Get after him. You can't throw. How is that completed? Are you kidding me? This game, man. I, the replay, have to, have to. 48 yards. Let's see how I give it up. So... We get pressure somewhat from OV. I send heat. He gets hit. He gets hit right as he throws, by the way. Pretty much right after. He gets pressure. That's an under pressure throw. Darian Thompson. What in the name of the Lord are you doing? As you guys can see, I don't switch on because uh, I figure he'll probably make a play on the ball, right? Absolutely not. He watches it go over his head, and I have to switch on and, and try to dive to make the tackle. And Darian Thompson goes through him. Oh, I'm about... Like, this is the stuff that really grinds my gears. I guess that's my bad. I really thought I was going to get the animation on that. I really thought I lurked that. That's my bad in coverage. I really, really thought I lurked that. Um... Jordan Reed, touchdown. Going to be 22 to 10. Washington. I need a first down here on third and 10. Odell Beckham Jr. up the middle. Thank you. Really felt like we could have had a ton there. Didn't end up working out that way. Oh my God. Is that ball underthrown? I guess it would have to be. I pass lead towards the sideline and it's just still not even close. It's another fucking sack fumble. I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm going to lose another game this way. I, I got to see how this works out. Drop back with Eli. They send four. Will Hernandez, the rookie, gets beat really quickly. And then the help. Patrick Omame does nothing. I try to throw the ball right here. You see the arm come back, right? Boom. He can't get the throw off to Saquon. And it is a sack fumble. And I'm going to lose the game again. I know it's only the third quarter. You guys see the way this is going. It's going to be 29 to 10 before you know it. Can't wait to see how they do it. There's your answer. Paul Richardson burns Janoris Jenkins in man coverage. 30 yards. They have only just now passed us in total yards. 
and they have a few more points than we do. We're gonna call play action. We got Odell. He caught the ball, let's go! A good pass from Eli. Uh, you never see it. Thank God. Waited for his route to develop instead of Sterling Shepherds. I actually had time in the pocket, or at least enough. So rare that that actually happens. And we have that. It's Sterling Shepard down to the five, down to the six, whatever. Let's score before the third quarter ends. We're gonna run more no huddle. For whoever gets open. Oh my God, he fumbled the fucking ball again! I, look like I am disabled because I feel like I am. I don't understand. Oh my god. Looking, looking. Of course, Odell's not open. I throw to Sterling Shepard, who is about to be. Eli gets it almost there, and he doesn't release the ball. He somehow just, like, just throw it. Throw the ball. He holds it, and then he fumbles. And they recover, obviously. Oh, oh. We called the right play, did the right thing, and we still fumble the ball with Eli fucking Manning. It's really sad, but I feel like the only thing I can rely on in my game in this game is myself. Because if I'm usering, the area is generally taken away, and it's the CPU that screws up again and again and again and again. I mean, look at that, for example. I'm I can only cover every route on the field. And until one gets by and we still have the purple zones play so bad so oh my, I'm, I'm about to freak out play action red he ran by it i'm spamming a thank fuck i get something that goes my way thank god we force a fumble I'm spamming A and he doesn't lock on because the game's like, oh, maybe it's a run play. I know that it's not. I read it perfectly. I ran by it right to the quarterback. I'm spamming A. Something tells me we're not going to be able to score uh, three times in five and a half minutes without letting up a score. Eli Manning to Odell. Cooks Josh Norman and is tackled at the 11. I've been spamming the X button for like 20 minutes at this point. Saquon Barkley gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And uh, it's going to be 29 to 17 if we convert the extra point, which we do. We have four minutes and 46 seconds. There it is. There it is. That works. That might be out of field goal range. That might be out of field goal range. Third and 16. We're going to need the help of an onside kick. I'll tell you that much. They're going to make us waste our first time out almost definitely here. I super doubt that they uh, call play action. And we're going to shut that down. Took three seconds. We have two timeouts. We need to score in the next 20 seconds. I think they have a real good shot. How do you miss that throw? That's unbelievable to me. It's right there. And I can't throw the ball. I tried PA crossers. Canceled the play action. Waited for it to develop. I mean, they're sending four. They're sending four, and they're still getting heat. That's the game. That really is the game. Uh, we just can't move the ball offensively. We just don't have the time to let any route develop. It's very sad. And that's going to be the game. We're not going to bother calling our timeouts. Obviously, there's no chance. We're going to lose another one here today. It, it really sucks to lose, but believe it or not, a 75 overall team can't hang with... Uh, others when this is the second worst team in the league by overall it might even be the worst actually i think the browns are higher overall the colts i think are the giants might be the worst team in the game to play with and it really shows eli manning was was bad today he just was he just misses way too often i can't stand it saquon two yards shy of uh 100 yards because we really didn't hand him the ball much in the second half because we were playing down. Odell, typical, great game. No receiving touchdowns for anyone on the team. And then the blocking. Let's look at this. 
Nate Solder, Will Hernandez led up three sacks combined. Patrick Amame led up two. Defensively, BJ Goodson had 11 tackles, six for loss. I mean, we were all over the run game. Three for OV. I don't know why it keeps hitting left trigger there. Dalvin Tomlinson got a sack. Janoris Jenkins got an interception. And uh, forced fumbles for Janoris Jenkins and a recovery for Darian Thompson. It sucks to play with this team, but I can't wait for the offseason. We'll get there eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. What's going on, guys? Mangle again here coming back at you with another video today back on New York Giants franchise. It's been a rough couple of weeks as we are 3-5, and five, currently bottom of the NFC East. And, I mean, what can you say? At the end of the day, this is a 75 overall team. We're just doing the best we can. I mean, like, every team in the league might be a better overall. And that puts us in a tough spot because we have an aging quarterback with no real replacement in line. And we have a number of holes. Center, right guard, right tackle, debatably even left tackle. I mean, you look at Nate Solder, right? He's 30 years old. And, uh... He's just like, he's not what I want on the team. So I'm thinking about trading him. Obviously, I can't now because uh, trade deadline has passed. And then you look defensively. We have some bright spots here. But Josh Morrow is not, he doesn't really play that much. Usually, it's Lorenzo Carter and Olivier Vernon rushing off the edge. And we have Damon Harrison and Dalvin Tomlinson on the inside. Occasionally, you'll see BJ Hill. Um, Alec Ogletree is not a viable option. Darian Thompson, not a viable option. At cornerback, William Gay is terrible. We all know about Eli Apple, all right? He's he's a disaster. So we have one, two, three, four, five holes on defense out of 11. And then on offense, we have that's three. Even look at the past wide receiver. I mean, wide receiver three is Roger Lewis Jr. So... And then quarterback, we have we have a number of holes to address that you really can't in one offseason without moving some pieces around. This offseason will be an interesting one for sure. I'm very excited. And um, where, where can I check my picks right now? You know, it's interesting that Terrell Basham's a free agent. I actually liked him a little bit out of Ohio. I thought his tape was okay. And he is currently not on a team. What are your numbers looking like? 78 tackle, 85 hit power, 67 block shit's not great. 79 finesse move, 78 pursuit. He's actually all right. We're going to go ahead and uh, sign Terrell Basham to a deal. So, again, nothing crazy. He's getting 1.9 just for this year. We're going to have him on our roster. We'll see if we get him any action. He is the newest New York Giant. And other than that, I don't think... Andrew Billings is another guy that had decent college tape. He was sick out of uh, Baylor. His numbers, they're not anything crazy. Uh, I'm all right with the free agent signing we made with Terrell Basham. Where he'll fit in the team, I really don't know. I guess we'll start him at right end. All right, we're going to start Terrell Basham at right end. That's interesting. And also, I think I'm I'm going to move defenses in the offseason. I don't love the 3-4. Might go to like a base 4-6 or something like that. Because we do have the personnel for it, honestly. Hold on. What would our, our scheme fit be for 4-6 for right now? So we're 91. And that's only because right end is Terrell Basham that it's not higher. Because Josh Morrow is a power rusher. We're going to stay in... Um, multiple three four all right yeah anyway i know this is kind of a long-winded intro uh the team sucks right now and we are losing i know it sucks to watch losing but year two is going to be a lot better and i don't necessarily want to simulate to the off season as i feel like that would be disingenuous for the sake of the series but if you guys want me to like i don't know play the moments in the final like four or five games or six games or whatever we have. I think it's week 10 now. So we have like, um, what, six remaining? I think we do. 
We had our bye week. I'm not really a counter. So we played nine out of 60. We might have seven remaining, including this one. All right, playing Jimmy Jesus today. That's a lot of combined Super Bowls. And we are in Santa Clara, California. You guys remember the 49ers franchise last season. We get to see Jimmy Jesus again. However, he didn't develop well. So we ended up going with uh, Joey Lockler. And you guys remember, of course, Joey Cummings. And uh, it's Sheldon Day, I guess, is a beast. And you guys remember, of course, the Wiley brothers, Walter, Marcus, and Cedric. Was there another one that didn't play? Keegan. Yeah. All right. If you guys watched that series, it was a fun one. But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can beat the San Francisco 49ers and improve our record to even at a... Uh, it might not... Are we 3-5? and five? So we can't even. I'm not sure what our record is. I don't remember. They're not running the ball that much so far. We've seen... Uh, I don't know what BJ Goodson's doing there. We've seen a lot of teams come out and just run the ball and run the ball and run the ball and just so inefficient and ineffectively and the Niners are coming out here and they're throwing the ball a lot and that's really our defense's weakness and they just keep going back to it we're getting we're getting gashed Mark Herzlick is so slow and there's Terrell Basham he's making his New York Giants debut wearing number 58 Oh, it's a play action. They got me. They got me. I don't really know what to do. We're not getting pressure. Brent Selleck. Is that Garrett Selleck? I think Brent Selleck's on the Niners now. Who is that? That, that might be Garrett Selleck, actually. Ah, it is Garrett. All right. Couldn't remember if uh, Brent Selleck was still on the Eagles or not. I don't think so. He might be. He might be their third tight end because they got Dallas Godert. They got, of course, Zach Ertz and OV swallowing up Jarek McKinnon. That's what she said. Now he's actually, he's a free agent. So he was not re-signed. And Trent Taylor into the end zone. Our defense really looked just putrid there. The Niners just drove down the field, hit us with the fade smash. And uh, that was really bad. Our defense did not hold up well at all. 10 plays, 76 yards, five minutes off the clock. We just got crushed. What are we looking at here? Why is this what they choose for Eli? Getting it in with 69. Nice. They've got a decent defensive line. But there's Saquon Barkley. For a decent gain. Seven yards on the pickup. Trying to find the hole. Hitting it hard. Odell's in a serious mismatch. There's Odell Beckham Jr. Is it a good ball? It is. Odell Beckham Jr. down to the one. There we go, extending the field. Akella Witherspoon can't catch up in that deep zone. That worked out perfectly. And there's Evan Ingram. It hit him in the fucking face. Are you kidding me? That's a touchdown. It hit him in the face. How do you not catch that? Are you, like, are we serious? There it is, though. Sterling Shepard gets the touchdown. He clearly wants it way more. I don't know what Evan Ingram was doing there, but he was wide open, had the easy touchdown. It hit him in the face, and he drops it. I don't I don't understand it. The ball was right there. Can't pin that one on Eli. 7-7, seven, seven, though. This game constantly trying to screw me over. Let's play action. And that's a sack. Alec Ogletree. I guess gets credit for his first sack, despite that certainly being, like, at least his sixth. Because he got one earlier this game, and I watched it happen. That's how I know. Regardless, second and 18. We just got a blitz. We just got a blitz heavy. That's mine. You got to give that to me. Use your pick. Easy reads. The giving tree. Get off me. We got the ball back. Jimmy G's first mistake is a costly one. Andrew Adams is the one that grabs the interception. It's going the other way. So it's going to be third and nine. And that is wide open over the middle. Sterling Shepard breaks a tackle from Reuben Foster, who was uh, really the hero of last series. And we are in business again. Big third and six. Likely no one's going to be open on this. 
and as you can see before even having the opportunity to throw some type of a jump ball we are sacked pushed out of field goal range for sure and uh now we're gonna try a punt here it's a great punt say what you want about my offensive abilities but i can sure punt that football i've got a lot of practice <laughs> I don't know if that's brag worthy, but I got a lot of punting practice because of my offense. That's really, that's really why the offensive line needs to improve because I have no time to throw the football and we need to, we need to have time. It's the oddest motion I've ever seen. We have time here, just nothing's getting open. I'm going to throw that ball to Evan Ingram. Keep it in. Great work. Third and six. That's my, are you kidding me, Jimmy? Easy reads, user pick. Uh, I'm gonna go with the cat in the hat. I just, I don't know anymore. We get the pick six with Landon Collins. The celebration lets us down. But I will take the easy reads, the easy pick six, and the 17 to seven lead. Oh no, I don't know who's supposed to be on that. Not me, because I'm in a, uh, a cover three there. I don't know who's supposed to be on that. I think it was supposed to be Janoris Jenkins. That was tough. That's not who I want to be on. Give me a pick. Give me a pick. It's BJ Good. It's Landon Collins. It's not even BJ Goodson. Why are you taking it out? <laughs> I didn't realize the time. Landon Collins with another interception. We got one-on-one. -on -one. There's a throw. It is so bad from Eli, and it's going to be intercepted by Jaquiski Tart. We had Sterling Shepard. Ran the fake screen wheel there. Sterling Shepard was open. Eli put way too much air underneath that one. We turn over the ball immediately. Sterling Shepard burned. That was, that was a good decision. Just that Eli does not have the deep throw accuracy anymore, if ever. So... Lorenzo Carter hasn't exactly gotten a ton of pressure on the quarterback, but he's been such a, a good player in the run defense as Jimmy G throwing at the user. Can you not? If you want the ball to go the other way, Landon Collins would be happy to take it again. Find a different spot to throw the football. I beg of you. Third and 12. There's a Lorenzo Carter. That's what I'm talking about. He is such a monster in run defense because he's so fast. And if you don't pick him up off the edge... I mean, it's just, it's going to be a bad day for you. And that's a sack. Lorenzo Carter. There's that pressure on the quarterback. Third and 20. That's not what that is. How is Marquise Goodwin doing this? I love him as a player, but he's not that good. He's okay. Janoris Jenkins, I need you to be on that. Play action. I'm there. Oh, man, I'm not on that. Eli Apple cooked. That's Pierre Garcon. I think the first time we've actually called his name this uh, entire video. It's his second catch of the day. All right. Come out again. Tampa 2. I want to show blitz. There's Landon Collins coming up to the line. He's going to be in a deep zone. We're going to spread our defensive line. And uh, he's got the touchdown. Pierre Garcon. And they're playing rock, paper, scissors with three people. I don't think you know the rules. Just the biggest issue when running the ball for me is that I want to use turbo to cut up through the holes. And I can't as we're going to go. What? Are, what is happening? How did Jimmy Ward intercept the ball? How? I have no idea. I, I need to go to replay because I didn't even see it. But yeah, you gotta use turbo like to get through the hole, but if you do that, they're gonna shed instantly. It's hard for me. Roger Lewis was the intended receiver on this play. What happened here? So, obviously he's wide open here. That's when I choose to throw the ball. Is it just a bad throw from Eli? No, what is Roger Lewis doing? The ball's right there. Maybe it's a little off. He doesn't extend his arms. Are you kidding? This is the type of stuff that really gets to me on all Madden. 
is the players are borderline brain dead. And that's how I turn over the football. That's an interception. That's unbelievable. That should be a first down for me. Not the other team. And he's going to leapfrog into the end zone for the touchdown. Is that Jarek McKinnon? It is. Oh, man. It's going to be 21 to 17. Give me that one. Jarrell Adams holds on. Unbelievable. That's great. Usually you don't see me getting bailed out like that. That was a throw into very tight coverage to a receiver that's not exactly, uh, you know, superstar caliber in Jarrell Adams. On a really big third down and seven, we choose to run and it pays off big. Didn't think the defense would be expecting it and they were not huge first down. I was really nervous about calling that because I know if I don't get it there, I'm getting roasted for deciding to run. It pays off and we keep the chains moving. Oh, it's totally not. We're going to try it anyway. Spinning back. Saquon can't stay on his feet and it's a turnover. They just covered that well. Tried to spin back to an open area. This wasn't going to happen. Wow. All right. Okay. Play action. Let me just get there. Let me just get there. He's throwing it up. And it's complete to Trent Taylor. Janoris Jenkins, what are you doing today? We've got statistically one of the best defenses in the league. Yet, we're getting absolutely gashed. The reason we allow so few yards... Can we, can we get somebody on this, please? I mean, it's just unbelievable what happens. But uh, teams just continually try to run the ball against us. And we're so effective in stopping that. But when Jimmy Garoppolo has all the time in the world like he did on that play. All the time in the world. And they just keep throwing, keep throwing, keep throwing. They're going to find holes in the zone. We don't have the personnel. We just don't have it. All right, the field goal is good. We're going to have 26 seconds. However, I did manage to save two timeouts. To drive down the field and score a touchdown. Touchdown ties. Odell burned. Odell burned him. Sherman's too slow. Odell Beckham Jr. Oh no. Oh no. What what can you say, really? <laughs> Um, yeah, 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 um, so, that's a great shot right there. I really thought that, uh, we were gonna get a different type of celebration. That was not one that I expected. <laughs> oh, man, no, yeah, I was, uh, <laughs> I'm not even mad. Um, yeah, my fault. Clearly, that was, uh, it was an interesting play. So we can't even see the replay because all they're counting it was for a face mask. Oh. <laughs> that was uh, that was a brutal way to lose. Yeah, I mean, uh, whoops. Take it easy. No!